In this video, we will look at a few interesting applications of the extended sign law. You remember in the last video, I showed that this is true for any triangle, the sign law, which you all know, C over sine gamma, but that it is also equal to 2R, which is the circumscribing circle going through ABC. This is the radius of the circumscribing circle going through the vertices of the triangle. So this makes the sine law a bit more powerful, or maybe a lot more powerful. And we will look at some interesting uh, applications of it now. So for any triangle ABC, I'm going to have the following very interesting relationship. I can call this a, a cyclic cyclic expression or identity okay you'll see identity because it is cyclic and i'll write it down in a minute but first let's go over this the radius of this circumscribing circle is r okay and um the opposite side to a, vertex A is labeled A, opposite of B is B, opposite of C is C, the standard way of labeling a triangle, which you should also use. And with this standard way of labeling the triangle, it's easy to write down this, uh, this cyclic identity in a, in a logical manner. A times sine beta minus sine gamma plus b sine gamma minus sine alpha, plus c sine alpha minus sine beta. We want to show that this is identically equal to zero. So it's cyclic. It goes around in a cycle, uh, as you can see, like this. So that's very interesting. This is true for any triangle. How, how on earth are we going to prove this? Well, we use, we use the uh, extended... Um, sign law okay so the extended sign law says all right let's write it down again a over sine alpha okay I, we'll write it in pieces is 2r okay and b over sine beta is 2r and c over sine gamma is 2r and so this gives us expressions for the signs of alpha beta gamma so sine Alpha is uh, is what? It's A over 2R. And sine beta is B over 2R. And sine gamma is C over 2R. Okay, so let's plug in all this stuff into our identity and see what happens. Um, sine beta, that's here. Okay, this one. So that's B over 2R minus sine gamma, okay, sine gamma is here, minus c over 2r, um, and th this is plus b times sine gamma, that's c over 2r, minus sine alpha, sine alpha is here, hmm, okay, so this is a over 2r, <laughs> plus c oh, sine alpha, okay, that's a over 2r, minus sine beta, that's b over 2r. <laughs> okay, let's see what's going on here. So, uh, a times b over 2r, we end up with b times, b times, b, what is that? Is that an a or b? What did I write here? Oh yeah, that's a c, man, what am I doing? Okay, so, okay, let's just be careful. Okay, so, a, a times b, and here I have a B times A, so that's the same. So hmm, this cancels with this. Get it? Okay, now A times C, that's the same as uh, C times A over here. And this is negative and that one's positive, so these two cancel. Finally, B times C, and I have a C times B here. Okay, and they cancel because one is negative, the other is positive. So this is identically zero, amazing. So, you know, you might want to try this with a calculator. Uh, draw any triangle and note down the angles and form this expression, compute it and see if you get zero. It should be true for every single triangle. Totally amazing uh, 
identity, I think. Problem two is a beautiful formula for the area of a triangle involving R. So for any triangle, the area is the product of the sides ABC times divided by um, 4R, where R is the radius of the big circumscribing triangle. So a picture will be in order here. R is the radius of this uh, green circle that goes all the way around, circumscribing the triangle, going through points A, B, C. And the product of the sides divided by 4R is the radius, an amazing formula. But how, how do we prove this? Well, okay, so let's begin by uh, dropping a perpendicular line here. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, it's off to a bad start. Oh, let's see if I can do this by freehand. Uh, that's okay. That's not so bad. All right, so that's a perpendicular line. And uh, let's call that D. And this height is H. So AD, AD, this is an altitude line of uh, the triangle and the length of AD is H. And so we know the area of a triangle, let's call that A, well, is one half H times the base. The base is little a. Okay, so with some trigonometry, we can find expressions for H. Okay, so sine, sine B is H opposite divided by here, the um, hypotenuse, so that's h over c, and so this gives me h, this gives me sine beta, well, hang on, this gives me h equals c sine beta, like that. Or we can do it using gamma on the other side, so sine gamma is h opposite divided by hypotenuse, but this time hypotenuse is b. And so this gives me H is B sine gamma. Right, I got two formulas. Which one do I choose? Well, the last time I did this uh, in my notebook, I choose the first one. So I'm going to choose the second one. You can do this one. You do it. <laughs> okay, you do this one. All right, so I'm going to choose this and see what happens. So my area formula is one half. And let's plug in H, B sine gamma and times A. Okay, now from extended sine law, we know that C over sine gamma is what? It's 2R, yes, yes, yes. And so sine gamma is C over 2R. Okay, very good. Mm, so let us now plug everything together. Area A is, give it our nice symbol, brackets A, B, C, 1 half B times C over 2R times A, and that is equal to 1 half A, B, C over 2R, or A, B, C, A, B, C over 4R, and we're done. Well, we're not 100% done because we did this with an acute triangle. Acute, acute. And so with an obtuse triangle, it's this, the H is going to be on the outside, but I want you to figure that out. So as an exercise for you, uh, I want you to take the following triangle. Take the following triangle and repeat the same calculations. So prove I want you to prove the same thing, that the area of this triangle is ABC over 4R. And this time it's going to be just a little bit different, okay? But that's your job. This last problem is a consequence of the one we just proved above. We want to prove a relationship, a relationship involving little r, and big R. Okay, what is little r? Little r will be well, little r will be the radius of the incircle. What is the incircle? Well, I will show you in a moment. What is big R? Well, it's what you already know. It's the radius of the circum 
scribing circle that goes through A, B, and C. All right, let's look at a picture. So here we have uh, the in circle. It's in purple, and this is having a radius of little r. And the big, the big one, um, I'll just write it out here, has a radius of big r. That's the circumscribing circle. And we want to prove a, a very amazing relationship. Watch this. 2r little r is the product a b c over a plus b plus c. Now that that's an extraordinary formula. Look at that. So it's uh, the product of the the radii of these two circles. These fundamental circles are. This is um, the ratio. Well, one. It's uh, two times this product is the ratio of the product of the sides divided by the sum of the sides. That's a, a beautiful formula. Well, first we can compute the area of the triangle using what we what we did in part two, in, in problem two. The, uh, the use of the extended sine law gave us this formula. Sorry, that's a four like that. And if we can... Um, calculate the area using some other method. Hmm. So let's say we can calculate the, uh, the area using some other idea. Then uh, we can equate these two and maybe get an equation. Okay, so this, this one involves big R, so we've done that. What we need is an area expression that involves little r, and we haven't done that yet. So we have to find uh, some kind of formula for that. And uh, for that, well, I need another figure. Okay, we've got a nice fresh figure here. Okay, so let's take this to be the center of the in circle. Now, these points here, these are tangents. Tangents. Tangent points. It's tangent here, here, and here. The in circle is the largest circle that you can draw inside of a triangle. And it has a center and it has these tangent points. Now, obviously, uh, from the properties of circles, if I draw a, a line from the center to a, the tangent point, to a tangent point, then uh, I will always have a 90 degree angle. This is always 90. Tangent and radius is always um, uh, perpendicular. Okay, so I I have these points here. Now, uh, there, the radius is all the same. This is R, this is R, and this is R. But look, look now, if I draw some lines, uh, some helper lines here, here, and here, suddenly I get a bunch of triangles that I can work with. Watch this. So this triangle here, let's uh, work on this. So the area of a b o that's one half the height the height is this radius r times the base what's the base the base is a b but that's opposite opposite big c so that's little c okay we did that triangle now the next triangle is going to be this one let's say okay so this one here a o a c o a c o okay a uh let's get black a c o that's one half times the height the height is again this radius r and what is the base a c but that's opposite b so that's little b finally the last triangle let's color that one in all right that's triangle uh b c o the area of this is one half R A. Okay. And so finally, the area of the whole triangle ABC, well, it's the sum of all of these things, one half R times A plus B plus C. Okay, so you see where this is going now. So I now I take I take this formula and I take this formula and let's put them together. Okay, so I have um, A, B, C, and there's two ways of writing. 
the area that we found a plus b plus c and the other one that we found from using sine law i got like this okay so this is great so one of these this one half and this cancels okay that gets rid of something and i end up with big r times little r that's not an equals that's an arrow big r times little r and i bring the i bring everything to the other side okay and i have a two here this this goes here i have a two and then a b c over a plus b plus c and we did it uh, one of the most beautiful <laughs> formulas about triangles we proved it you know it didn't directly involve the uh, law of signs but indirectly because it used the result from part two that's very beautiful and uh, i think i have one more really nice application that i want to show you uh, but i'll do that in another video because it's a bit longer so if you like this if you like this, well, of course, click like and, of course, subscribe. And if you have some ideas, then leave a comment and tell me about it. And uh, I will see you next time.